Welcome back to Prey. Let's check out Alex Yu's office. Wait. Something's not right here. Much better. Broke your little sister's arm? What the fuck is wrong with you? Seems to be no mimics. That is gorgeous. Too far, too vast, three. Um. Uh, Already read that. Yep. You. <laughs> Alex has exactly one cigar on each side of the cabinet, always within arm's reach. Yeah, here's what I think of your, your Dr. Rerum Naturalium. Ah. Midnight Songs, a classic anthology of Tang Dynasty verse. I think I've read this before too. Oh, well, I mean, I can't read it, but I've seen this before. space for even that. Not that I really need it, but I seriously need to go dump my stuff. Pretty good chance there's a recycler in here, actually, in his office somewhere. The Transtor Corporation commissioned several... Uh, I've already read this. Right? Actually, have I? I don't think I have. Uh, but yeah, it's about them commissioning exclusive artwork for Talos One. Renowned Belgian sculptor Frederick Smart sculpted the work Smoke Signals, which forms the centerpiece of the employee dining hall. Installation artist known simply as Jesse constructed the chain of marble glass panels, which soar gracefully overhead in the Talos One lobby. And former street artist Patrick O designed a series of exclusive posters for Transtar featuring impressions of orbit eclipse and other celestial themes in his signature geometric style. He also developed the Neuromod promotional image featuring the likeness of actor Daisy Prince. Maybe I did already read it. I don't know. Aggressor amp. It's for the psychoscope. Increases the damage of all psi attacks by a small amount. Completely useless for me. Oh, 
Oh, search the safe. That was part of who's December. Okay, so we're not done with December. Search Alex's room for the escape pod key. Oh, I thought I thought I failed that quest. When December got destroyed, I guess I didn't. Once things get as bad as I think they probably are, your only option is to escape. Get the word out about what's happening on Talos 1. Alex has a private escape pod. It's locked up. I made a copy of the key and hid it on top of the data tower near the chair. You know the one I'm talking about. Listen, there's more at stake this time than just us or this station. If just one of those creatures made it back home, then we're lost. I keep having this dream. I'm just staring into the black between the stars. There's something there. I know there is. I just can't see it. But it sees me. I can feel it. Hate us. I know you know what I'm talking about. Or you will soon. Second excerpt from Brandy's story. Oh, I've already read this. Oh no, no, I read a different part of this, I think. Yeah, it's the second excerpt from Brandy's story. Case study of neuromod donors and recipients. I asked Brandy if she felt betrayed by a paraplexus. She nodded. Not an agreement, but understanding my point. Because they discovered they could map my brain, but I can't accept a neuromod myself. Her smile became firmer. I think that makes the gift more meaningful. It would be a year before it was quietly decided by Transtar to receive no further neural maps. Connectomes? From Paraplex's patients, citing unspecified risks. Level 4. I can do that. Sarah, I need your help tracking down a missing keycard. There should be one of your hi Oh, I've already seen this email, I think, from Sarah's point of view, right? It's labeled EP-101. Yeah. Alex found it, Neuromod Division, on top of a computer cabinet. I'd say someone was trying to hide it, along with what looks like a bug-out bag. Should I be concerned about anything? It's still there, by the way. Maybe I should write this down. I'm going to write this down. Okay, I wrote it down. Rogue Operator. Oh, it's a long one. Dr. Yu, I spoke to Lorenzo Calvino and got no response, so bringing the matter to you. There's evidence of an unlicensed operator aboard Talos 1. If so, we might be risking another Transtar North incident. I want to ensure the station's safety and make sure IT protocols are enforced. Chief Show, I doubt that accident has any relevance to what you're describing here. If Lorenzo says an investigation is unnecessary, I believe him. Dr. Yu, an operator follows an owner's commands to the letter. Morgan may have built an unlicensed model, and if so, it would have access to station protocols. I'll take the matter to the board if I have to, but I won't have Morgan's actions place the station in jeopardy. Are you certain of this? If this operator exists, where would it be? If it's shut down or on standby, it could be anywhere. Do I have permission to begin a search? Now, they must be talking about December or January or all of them. Alex, you made it my duty to keep everyone on the station in good physical condition. The last time I checked, sir, you are part of everyone on the station. By my count, you've missed the past five scheduled fitness tests. 
If you're uncomfortable with some of the exercises and performing them in front of the crew, I can schedule you time in the fitness center where it's just the two of us. Remember, you wouldn't just be doing this to help yourself, but to set an example for the whole staff. Salsa Morgan Evel. Your sibling is indeed different. I've sent the comparisons to you and Bellamy for evaluation. Good evening, Talos. Dinner is served in the cafeteria from 6 to 8 p.m. As you'll see, there's noticeable personality drift more than I'd expect from heavy neuromod cycling. It's even more prominent because of the duration in which these behavior shifts have developed. As requested, I did not discuss this with Morgan. Interestingly, Morgan seems unaware of these shifts. As an aside, I believe this poses interesting questions for our other applications of the Neuromod. Not solely therapy, but reconditioning. Oh, so I guess if you never got the Neuromod fabrication by this point, you can get it here. Oh, and there's EP-101. Rooftop bridge controls. Oh, is it to that over there? That might be the rooftop bridge. Stand clear. Oh, is that the personal escape pod, perhaps? I do love the music. Terraforming Mars, I already read that. I think. What if you stare long enough you'll see something? Yep, there's the tracking bracelet. Left behind. Oh yeah, that's what EP stands for, huh? Escape pod. Can't hack it, need the keycard. Expect that music. Well, I think we're done with everything in the Arboretum for now, aside from going to deep storage. Oh. Wait, what? What greater mimic? There's nothing there. New psionic aptitude available. Apparently I scanned it through the ground there or something. Well, let's look up here first. Oh, 
Oh, Dr. Howard's growth formula. That's for a quest. Yesterday's batch was an abysmal failure. Piss poor root initiation. However, Dr. Lin from Psychotronics was kind enough to provide me with a sample of material that should multiply the effectiveness of the phytohormones when applied to already mature plants. I expect reduced time to maturity, increased yield, and an above normal salutary effect. Hopefully, it doesn't taste like shit. I just need permission to run the plan through the fabricator. Oh, I missed this one. Wait. Wait, what? No, I didn't miss this one. Did I? This is the... No, I've definitely been here. This is the person I looted their body, I couldn't carry the pistol, and I broke this, and now... If not mistaken, it wasn't broken this time? It repaired itself? And there's new enemies? Because I broke in here before. And there was a medkit on the ground, remember? I just didn't see that up there. Huh. Odd. Okay, I'm tired of not being able to pick stuff up, so I'm gonna go find a recycler. Alright, I just freed up a ton of space, got tons of materials, got a bunch of neuromods. Which leaves me with 10 neuromods, and I think, as ridiculously overpowered as I already am, there's not that much to spend it on, so I'm gonna get better combat focus. It'll last even longer, I'll do even more bonus damage. All that good stuff. And I didn't even have to make any any ammo or anything. Like, I'm doing fine on glue gun ammo, fine on pistol ammo, fine on shotgun ammo. Last thing I want to make, though, is Dr. Howard's growth formula. Controls for the sprinkler. Hmm? What was that? Nothing, I guess. Uh, but yeah, I think it goes here, right? Yes. Where is it? Harvest your fruit after the growth cycle is complete. Okay. Yeah, I think it said, what, five minutes to complete? Well, I guess I'll come back there. Watch, I'll probably Good forget evening, and never go back Alice. there again. Mr. Tucker from HR would like to remind you that if your personal data has changed since the previous pay cycle, please contact him immediately. Mr. Tucker's office is on the second floor of the lobby. Now that I've got inventory space, let's grab that weapon kit, huh? There's some other small stuff I missed up upstairs too, but it's fine. Spin that on... I mean, I guess reload speed would be good. 
You are? I remember I am very, very slow when using this thing. Let me get the movement speed up. Is there anywhere else I want to jump to? Any roofs that look like they might have something on them? I don't see anything. I see nothing flashing. No. Alright, let's go to deep storage. It's the final airlock. Ivy, what is it? How's it coming? I, I can't get this damn thing open. Where's Danielle? Still not answering. What's wrong? Danielle tied the lock to her voice. We need her to speak the key phrase or we're not getting in here. Would voice samples work? Transcribe recordings? Yes, if they have the right words. Or if we gathered enough to map her voice to a consonant and vowel list and started running patterns. I'll see if I can find her. Or her transcribe. I'll check her room first. All right, Ivy, but look, don't do anything stupid, okay? Ivy? Ivy? Shit. Damn it, Daniel, where are you? Looks like we're going to crew quarters first. It's unlikely Chief Show is still alive. I advise you follow Zachary West's strategy. Hack together voice samples. Your transcribe is equipped with the necessary software. It's how you made my voice. Danielle's cabin might be a good place to get started. Crew quarters, there's gonna be a lot to do there. Got many, many key cards. But Horden Baffles treasure map, what the hell? Huh. Look at a thing here. Two small circles, one bigger one. B2. No idea. Identification required. Please repeat the following words. Gravity. Chasm. Rendezvous. Mob. Alright, there's something I've been meaning to try. On the Talos 1 exterior. Microgravity detected. Any bodies around here? Doesn't seem like it. What is... What is that? This has nothing to do with what I wanted to try, but I definitely haven't seen this before. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Oh. That didn't hurt horribly, thankfully. It was so hard to tell that they were actually moving towards me until it was really late. I feel more comfortable closing this behind me. 
Oh, that's not a lock, it's just an open and close. Oh my god. It doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, it's just a little supply thing. Interesting. Wasn't expecting to actually find a, another shuttle. Is that another one? That one looks like it might be connected, I'm not sure. Yeah, it is. I bet there's all sorts of goodies hidden around here. It's just so disorienting. I don't know where the heck I've been and where I haven't been. Anyway, the real reason I came out here... ...is because... ...I was wondering... ...what happens if you just fly out into space? I mean, really, what happens? Does something special happen? Is there just an invisible wall? I'm really curious. So let's try it. Let's try going to... Wait a second. What's that? Oh, I think that's the camera, but... Remember the camera we were looking at? I bet it's that thing. I wonder if you can destroy it. Okay, real test of this game's accuracy. No! My globule! I wanted to cover up the camera and see if it would actually show up as covered when you go in there. <laughs> That's really neat though, the way it just bounces off and just goes in the other direction. Ah, look at them, my little sticky balls. Anyway. So, let's just try heading to the moon. I'll, uh, bring you back when something or nothing happens. Oh, you st oh, okay, you start to get radiation. Radiation poisoning detected. Seek medical attention. Okay. <laughs> Last chance chipset activated. That was a short chance. <laughs> so it's basically a soft barrier. Gotcha. Alright, our fruit should be ready to get. Wonder if it's gonna be special fruit or just fruit fruit. I'm assuming it's gonna be normal. But let's go grab it and then head to crew quarters. Talos. Oh, As a reminder, says Superfruit. All personnel must complete monthly physical Dr. Howard Superfruit. Dr. DeBreeze promises to make them as quick Just one. and painless as possible. So I'm guessing it'll make more in five minutes. Yeah. Alright, let's check it out. Where is it? Experimental fruit produced by Dr. Howard's growth formula. Okay, so it doesn't actually say what it does. I'm assuming it heals a lot, but not sure. Uh, I don't want to use it right now, obviously, since I'm not even hurt. I'll save it. Let's repair my suit.
Ooh. Mind controlled, which means we have a. I don't remember what it was called. One of those. I see you. Things Another puppet. Nearby. Looking for me with black eggs behind your eyes. Come closer. Yes. A little closer. <laughs> Stupid puppets. What? You too? You want to come into a kitchen? Is he just blowing them all up? Because that's totally unnecessary. Ooh. Come! Stupid beef. You think you can kill me with that? Yeah, they're just unconscious. Why do you obey? You can't fight the beast voice. You run out of puppets, huh? Maybe you starve. Golden guns right in there. Can't get me. Keep sending and sending. When will you stop? Stop! Can't think with all the how oh, many. How many bodies do we have, huh? Maybe I should go there first. Oh. a hold of your brain good others here or not shoot first before they get close the puppets bombs the master is close kill beast or puppets or both but all right let's do get it. it before they kill you when no more puppets maybe we talk Puppets. Now you join them. You come to kitchen window. Let me see you. I don't know what it is or what it was, but I don't know all this time. So I don't care. Uh, your suit. What is in your name tag? You? Um, am you? Am you? You kill beast yourself. Ah. If you want to come in, be safe. You go. Get something of mine, huh? Here, key. It opens my room. Go there. Get my... award. It's important to me. Then... Maybe we talk. <laughs> okay. All right, we got a lot of ground to cover here. Look at how amazing that smoke puff looks. That is like the best animated smoke puff. Come on, do it again. Ah, it's shy now.
Christ, where do I even start? This place is huge. I, I guess I'll just explore the kitchen first. Or the cafeteria, rather. If there's really anything on the tables. Just looking for anything flashing real quick. Caleb Hawthorne? Why are you, like, marked? Maybe it's one of the enemies I scanned? I thought their head was going through the table, but no, they just don't have a head. cafeteria there really is like no food I can pick up out here which is fine by me because I have so much food but it's a bit strange all right I think that's all explored except for back here and up the stairs I just went up the stairs, didn't I? Yeah, never mind. Okay, we're done in the cafeteria. Uh, uh. Ew, what the hell? So this is where we started, right? Yeah. Alright. Back to square one. Looted this room and then I just ran out. Let's do the ground floor first. Might be able to get through there if I move this stuff. Requesting new operator. Transtar Pyramid. Hello, 
Five-year-old medical class operator ready to deploy. Please stand. Diagnosing. Bruising. Abrasions. Fatigue. Nothing like this. This won't take long. Intruder, please tell me there's someone trying to enter my room. I have nowhere to hide. Hurry. Oh, this is crew quarters security. A basement in space. <laughs> Seriously, my quarters have no view of space? No windows at all? What is the one thing that a visitor staying on a space station might enjoy? Surely I have better quarters for Argenteno Perot. Not sparkling. Also from Argentino Perot, I don't know what passes for sparkling wine on board Talos, but I assure you, the flat piss your concierge delivered does not qualify. I poured it into the toilet where it belongs. I want a replacement as soon as possible. Better yet would be a bottle of that Sardar bourbon I understand your CEO likes. And more glasses as well. The others are broken. Christ, what a prick. New code of the fitness center. Okay. Alright, I want to test something out. I keep forgetting to try this. Can you download a map remotely? Not with this. <laughs> you can. That's cool. Surveillance. Pursuant to Alex Yu's orders, I have compiled a report concerning Annalise Galagos and Associates. Closed is also a suspicious conversation between Will Mitchell and Quentin Purvis. To be reviewed by AU ASAP. Right, Annalise Galagos. That was the person that was trying to get the information aboard. Uh, information about all the wrong things they've been doing. And that person who's taking it on a shipping container to get it back to Earth. Okay. Subject left private quarters, presumably to report for first shift, verified with psychotronic security. Subject returned to private quarters during shift hours, reason unknown. Quentin Purvis enters, then leaves, carrying portable drive. Okay. Alright, so yeah, that's when they gave the information to Quentin. Don't worry about power flickering. Station is just hurting. Keep going. Thanks. I'd prefer it if you were quiet, though. A 
A and B. Let's avoid the actual cabins just yet. See where everything else goes. Executive suite. If I turn this thing on, that corpse is going to go flying, isn't it? I want to see it. grab the corpse before it transports me. Gotcha. Alright, now what if I put you back in? Ah! <laughs> Goodbye. <sighs> Antonio Frulcha. Something like that. Transgressions. Radiation? What? Strange. Alright, so crews over there. Uh, crew cabins, rather. Executive suites up here. Actually, I don't know if the stairs go to the executive suites or if the grav shaft is. Ooh. Yeah, grav shaft is separate. That just keeps going up. Definitely heard more than just the one. clear this place first. Ah. Oh, please tell me I can play the space drums. Lights. Don't know what that's... What? Don't know if that phantom's above me? I think it is. That was in here, right? Ah. 
Where did it go? Ah. Oh, that's not it. That's... This place is clear. Oh, this place is called the Yellow Tulip. I don't. I feel bad for breaking it. I feel like I shouldn't take them. I just realized what that was. It's their namesake. Oh, this one had a name. Tizzy. Was that the the server? The bartender. Why are there cigarettes on the carpet? It's disgusting. And dangerous. Alex's Toast Music Neuromont Demonstration. Welcome, everyone. We've made an amazing achievement. As of 12 hours ago, we have broken the 8,000 Neuromont mark. 8,000 Neuromonts. Sharing skills. Abilities, improving the quality of life, and you are to be congratulated. You are the ones who made this all possible. And congratulations to my dear sister, Morgan, who was left for Earthside to assist in marketing efforts with the Transstar Board of Directors. So, let us toast to Transstar, to the Neuromart, and the future. What is success if it can't be shared? Let me introduce a few of our employees, none of which had any musical talents until yesterday, except Chief Show, who I'm told has a lovely singing voice. Sky, Danielle, whenever you ladies are ready. Hey, I said Morgan Yu was off to Earthside. I think I, I vaguely have the memory of someone in their transcribe or, or email or something saying that they saw Morgan and they were surprised and they're like, shouldn't you be on Earth? I'm like, what are you doing here? I'm guessing going Earthside was a cover for whatever testing they were doing on her. I'm trying to listen to music here, Etheric Phantom. Get out of here. drum solo.
white noise. play them faster. Keytar, what? Oh my god. Alright, let's get a band going. Yeah, close enough. Space bass. Space guitar. And drums. This is after the last one we just read. I went to visit the Graces. Brandy had passed from repair plexus, and the connectomy, or connectome, however you pronounce that, of her ability to skate, still remains unused in Transtar databanks. Oh wait, this one we've actually read before. Her parents declined to be interviewed, citing the interviews with Brandy had done more harm than good. Yeah, we've read that before. Don't know if I ever read part one, though. Where are these creepy whispers coming from? Probably something upstairs. The escape pods didn't work, and we believe it was intentional. Those black shapes are everywhere, and everyone we know is dead. Or something worse. We aren't going to let that happen to us. To our families, we love you. Brandy Pester and Jenny. Garbensov. Oh. Killed each other. Or, I mean, you know. Suicide. See a hatch up there. go anywhere. And there's nothing up here. Okay, I think that's it for this place. I 
know I didn't explore over there. I'm just trying to get my bearings again. So once again, we started from there, went around and stuff. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I can dump my stuff. Transfer junk. Look at that. So much junk. And there's even a lot, a lot more junk. Extra weapons, extra these, extra stun guns. And I've got a bunch of alcohol, too. Beep, boop, beep, boop. Do I have duck beer? I feel like I've got duck beer somewhere. There it is. Supplies for Morgan. Mike, when you're heading up to exec suites to fix the cooling system there, can you bring Morgan these supplies? By the way, the code of the grav shaft has changed. Time to raid the uh, storeroom again. Oh, I guess that's it. I think we've had a couple weapon upgrades too. Go with range again. And I suppose handling. I think it's time to go to the theater. But I'm going to save that for the next episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return... I'm going to attempt to cover up every single one of these posters. But some of them are resistant. <laughs>